this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving arithmetic progression with Lecasio FS, another one ES class risk calculator or Lecasio FS 570 ES class risk calculator, the black one and not the white one of Lecasio FS, another one ES plus. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving arithmetic progression with the Lecasio FS. Another one ES class with calculator. So guys, ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video because you will learn a lot after going through this video. You will find arithmetic progression very very simple with the Casio calculator. So ensure you stick with me till I finish solving every question I have here in this video. But having known that, before we get the Casio calculator, let's quickly look at the question I have here and see what we are asked to find so the question says if the eighth and twelfth term of an ap are two and ten respectively find a first term b 24 term c the common difference d the end term if the end term is 36 and lastly sum of the first 40 terms okay now let's get the casual calculator and Go straight into the details of the solution with the, with the calculator. Okay, guys, this is a class with calculator, Casio FS, another one, ES class with. Now, if you are using the white one, I already have a video on how to do it with the white, with the white calculator, the ES plus. The pattern or the method is different. So, ensure you check the algebra playlist of this channel and um, watch it for the white Casio FS and our ES plus calculator if that's the calculator you are using because for this particular one the pattern is different so be sure you go and watch the video for that one specifically and learn how to deal with that one okay for those of you using this particular one let's go ahead and solve these problems we have here Okay, the, the first thing you have to do is to play a calculator, very important guys. Now, the sense of playing a calculator is to put your calculator in default mode, very, very, very important. If you have watched some of my videos before, you know that I often say this. So guys, so clear for those of you that don't know how to do it, you simply press shift then button 9, full instruction, you want to clear or initialize all, you press 3. Then import means yes. Initialize or press AC key, but I always use to press the quality again. You see the same thing, press the quality. So it's as clear now. Now, since we have cleared it, let's go ahead and put the calculator in a mode that we never love to solve this problem, which is statistics mode. That's the mode of this calculator that will help us to stop arithmetic progression so you look for statistics if you want to get the mode of the calculator when you press menu let me show what i did just press this menu and you see these things will come out look for statistics and statistics is option six press six okay so this is statistics mode guys very, very simple now once you get here this place is very, very critical and once you miss it here you have missed everything now for arithmetic progression you go with option two. If it be a geometric progression, the option will be different. But what arithmetic progression is option two, guys. Very, very simple, very, very instructional. So you go for option two. This right arithmetic progression. Okay, so having done that, it will bring you to this place. Once you get here, you begin to input the respective values. Now, how many how many times do we have in this question? We have two times eight and twelve, so that will be for the x values. So we begin with eight, press eight, press equal to to enter, go down. Sorry, yeah, go down, put twelve and twelve we enter, then go over to y. For the y values, y values will be the values of the respective terms in this question. The eighth term here is what two, the twelfth term here is what. I think that's 10. Let's confirm. Yeah, it's 10. So we go ahead and put them respectively. 8 is 2. 
and our rep is what 10. Very simple, guys. So once you are done, you can wipe them. N note that as you are inputting the values, the calculator was storing them automatically. So now that we are done entering the values, we can wipe them out. No need to panic because the values are already stored in this calculator. It will not go out until it's clear. That's the only time it will go out. So having known that, let's press AC. So we have cleared it. Now once you press AC, it will show you this. Very important, guys. Now, we are asked to find what first. That's a first time. So to find a first time, if I, this is how you find any time generally. Okay, press the time. That's first one. Once you do it, you press this option. Now, once you press the option to get to this place, you go down this down button, then press regression option four, guys. Very simple. Now, once you press option four, it will show you various options here again. Now, we are looking for this option five, this symbol. Want to make use of this symbol? Now, press option five. This is the symbol you use to find number of times you are asked to find. That is first time, second time, third time, fourth time, any time at all. This is the symbol you use for it. Press it once, and this is what you have. You are good to go this first time, press the port two, and you stay first time. The first time is what? Minus 12. Very, very simple, guys. Now, what time are we asked to find again? We are asked to find question B. That's B part of P24 time. Just quickly come here and adjust. Move this one and put 24, guys. Very, very simple. The first report is we show 34. So, 24 time is what 34. Now, you check if this thing is actually correct. It's showing you the right answers let's look for eight time i mean that the eight time here is two let's see if two will come out press two so eight and press report you see two if we still want to verify then put 12 and press report it will show you 10. so it's very very, very, very accurate very very precise very, very correct for accuracy is the right time very, very accurate very, very ideal guys so this is it is that the final number of times? Now, what, what of question? The C part of it, common difference. Now, to find common difference, as we know, the difference in mass signifies subtraction, that's minus. Now, to find the common difference, pay attention, very, 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 very important. Sorry. Okay, yeah, to find the common difference, all you have to do is to. Now, when you count two values, we have two times, you have eight and 12. Now, after eight, what is the next? number you see nine right that nine time so you simply press nine okay now go bring out that symbol again go to option go down regression to option five this will work with okay this will work it so once you do it now since nine is up is after eight so minus you put minus here guys very, very simple now the value of the eight time here is what two you can see the common difference. Common difference was two. Is it that I do this way or since we have 12 time here? After 12, what is the next number you see starting that 13 time? Simply adjust it here. Remove 9 and put 13 minus the value of the 12th time in the question is what 10, guy. This is how you do it. It's very, very simple. So sorry. I went to root 2, 10, minus 10. That's it. You still get two so either way guys we work we work anyway i want to use just ensure that you understand the process the procedure what you have to do and you will get the right results so guys just like this question because in, in the question you have there with you or you might be given you might change the values but the same procedure the same method same pattern just follow the right the right pattern i'm showing you and you will get the exact result, guys. Very, very simple. So this is for common ratio. Sorry, common difference. Sorry, common ratio for GP. This is for common difference, guys. The common difference for AP. Common ratio, ratio for GP. So this is for common difference. Now, let's look at the question. The D part of it, the end time. To find the end time, very, very simple, guys. Let's wipe, wipe, wipe this. Okay, so end time. You said the end time, if the end time is 36. So what you still have to do here is press 36. First, then. So wait, and you see, then go to option, go for regression, remove that regression. Now for n time, 
This is a same book you work with this option for press for it's specifically for enter the press record to and enter will show up 25. So the enter is 25. Let me show you something now. So verify this enter. Let me remove this. See the enter is 25. Let's yes, look for the 25 time. Look that you get back 36. Very simple guy. This is very, very interesting. <laughs> I used to play with it. So you press 25, go to option, then go down, regression four, then option five is in my round. And you get back this work as you see. So it's a very correct guy. So last let's look at how to find the sum of the first 40, how to find sum of an AP. Now, as we all know, in statistics, when you talk about summation, you talk about sigma. If you remember our statistics, guys. So in, in statistics precisely talk about sigma. Sigma means what? Summation. So to find the sum of this AP, we make use of sigma to do it. So to bring that sigma sign, you press shift. This button into comments, then this bracket put x alpha x. Then we want to add a symbol to that symbol under option five in regression. You go back to option, go down with this downward button, regression option four. So this button five, so this is the symbol we are looking for. So once you are doing it, you see that the sum of the first 40 times. So we are going to separate one and fourth with comma. So, first of all, put comma here. To bring out comma, press shift. This button, comma, comma. Then first, put another comma. Shift this to comma. Then 40. This is how to find sum of whatever you ask to find, number of time you ask to find of an AP. Guys, very, very simple. Press close the bracket. Now, press record. You see the result, the answer. Sum is what? Okay, 1080. Very, very simple, guys. Now, I think we, we are asked to find some of the first, let's say, 80 times. Just move 40 and put 80. That's not as that, guys. It's the answer. Okay. If you have to find some of the first 100 times, just move and put that value there. And you see the result. So, this is how you find the sum of, of, of an AP with the classic calculator. So, guys. Basically, we have solved for, I've shown you how to, how to find the number of times, how to find common different end time and sum. And with that, we have come to the end of the class. I hope you learned something very interesting. If you're new to our channel, this is a ghost class, and if you are not yet subscribed, ensure sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, Feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I will be sure to give you a response. So guys, once you're done, don't forget to apply your calculator to clear a simple press shifts button now for the instruction option three in press report press report again. So guys, we have cleared the calculator, we are good to go. That's it for the class. See my next video. Thanks for watching.